Hello and welcome to a brief video on the integration of Microsoft Team Foundation Server or TFS with Atlassian Jira using Covair Omnibus. The demonstration flow we'll be using today starts from Visual Studio Team Foundation Server. Say a product management creates a new requirement in Team Foundation Server. But unfortunately, engineering uses Jira, so we have to replicate this requirement from TFS to Jira. And Covair Omnibus does that replication from TFS to Jira so that engineering can review and change the status to approved as well as do the other kinds of modifications. Engineering starts implementing this requirement and say they find a bug. So they create a new bug in Jira. Also, they create a traceability relation between the bug and requirement. Now the question is how the original submitter of that requirement can know about the requirement as well as the bug sitting in TFS. So Covair Omnibus now replicates the bug from Jira to TFS. Not only that, it also replicates the modified requirement as well as the traceability relation between the bug and the requirement. So at the end, we have both the bug and the requirement as well as the traceability relation between them are exactly the same in both TFS and Jira. I strongly recommend you to view our video on introduction to Omnibus integration platform to understand more about how Omnibus actually work to achieve these kinds of integration. Okay, now we have TFS on my left hand side and Jira on my right hand side. So let's start with TFS by creating a new requirement. So we select a new work item of type requirement at, and it brings us to the add page for requirement. We'll call it requirement from TFS and we'll copy this one as description. Also let's assign it to the administrator. Also leave the other default values here including the severity critical. Now let me save this one. Let's check it in our requirements list. So here is our requirement from TFS. <clears throat> now let's go to Jira and check whether our requirement is replicated there. Here is our requirement from TFS replicated to Jira. So as mentioned in our demonstration flow, here in Jira, we will first modify this requirement. Also, we will change the status. So let's go and see the detail of this requirement and go into the edit mode. So we will change the title and say, it's modified in Jira. Also, let me change the requirement status here to approved and then save it. So now it shows my modified title as well as the requirement status approved here. Now we will create a new bug in Jira. So we'll create 
a new issue of the type bug of our project. That brings us to the add form for bugs. We'll create, we'll call it bug from Jira. Let me change the severity to let's say high impact and also copy the title or the summary in this particular case to description. And let me create this new one. So here is my new bug, bug from Jira. And what I'll do, I'll also create a traceability link between this bug and our requirement. So let me go to this more action and link. And this is a bug to requirement type of link. Uh, let me select my requirement from here. So here is my requirement, which is, shows the modified in Jira. And let me link it. So now, in this bug, the requirement is shown under the link. Now we can go back to our uh, list here. So let me go back to the list, our requirement list first. Here is the requirement list. It shows that requirement from TFS modified in Jira. If we go there, it actually shows that Jira is now linked, bug from Jira is now linked to this particular requirement. So we are done in Jira. So what we have done, when we came to Jira, we found that our requirement is replicated from TFS. Then we modified that requirement by modifying the title as well as updating the status. Then we created a new bug. And then from the bug, we created a traceability link from the bug to the T from the requirement which was originally created in TFS. So we are done in Jira. Let's go back to TFS now. So we are back in TFS. Let me refresh my requirement list and see what is happening there. So here is our requirement, requirement from TFS modified in Jira. And also, if we go to the list of bugs, we should be able to see our bugs replicated there. So let's go to the list of bugs. Here is bug from Jira, the one we have created in Jira. Now, if we go to the detail of this bug from Jira, which is at the bottom of the screen, and scroll it down. Here is one tab for all links. If we click on all links, here it shows the requirement from TFS, which is modified in Jira. The linkage we actually created in Jira is now shown the same linkage in TFS. Similarly, if we go back to the requirement, so here is the requirement list, and there, here is the requirement, and if we scroll it down here, the detail of that requirement and there is all link tab and here it shows that this is also linked with bug from Jira. So to complete this demonstration let me quickly go through what we have done. In TFS we created a new requirement then we went to Jira and we found that requirement is replicated. We modified the requirement in Jira as well as created a new bug in Jira and created a traceability link between the bug and the requirement. Then we came back to TFS and we found that both the modification of the requirement as well as the bug were synchronized back to TFS. Not only that, also the relationship between the bug and the requirement which was created in Jira is also replicated in TFS. And that concludes this demonstration.